e-commerce. You know, <laughs> I can sit here and pretend like I see the future or I saw the future when we started. Mm. And, but to be more honest, and this is more encouraging to other entrepreneurs who are trying similar things, you just start and then you start to see signs. And the signs that we are seeing today are really, really good. Okay. Um, it suggests to us that, you know, the same way that Nigeria left frog fixed line and went straight to mobile, mm. we strongly believe we are going to leapfrog brick and mortar stores and go straight to e-commerce. Mm. And we're seeing the same thing happen, at least as far as Congo is concerned. I would say is, um, you know, don't talk too much, just get going. Um, you know, you wouldn't have all the resources around you ever, right? Um, I didn't at the beginning. I know the amount of money we're out raising now as well, right? Clearly don't have those resources now, you know, fully either, right? So it just changes, the, the, the quantum and the amount changes, yeah. right? So it's not about, you know, I don't have the money, but just get started, show your show traction. Um, and people would, would end up not just believing in you, but believe in the traction of what, what they see, right? If you don't... Now, it's roughly 2004 in the India or for India or Brazil. We are, it will take us 10 years to reach where India is right now, just for the travel market. It means that we have to be patient when building companies like this. It's going to take a long time. What I am, what my plan is, is we understand, first of all, that we have to be patient and then we take the time. Like, it's gonna take me another 10 years building hotels NG, but at the end of 10 years, I want to have the biggest online hotel-focused travel brand in Africa. Go ahead, Tony, we'll go right down. So entrepreneurs who are listening, quick one, short one, straight to the point. Entrepreneurship is a long-term journey. Stop seeing it as a short-term goal. Long-term journey. Great companies, great and accomplished entrepreneurs did not make it in one year. They didn't make it in three years. It's a long-term journey. So moving, dare to dream, implement your dream, and stay focused. The fact that once a young person determines that this is what he or she wants out of life, there are very few things that can stop that person. Whether, whether it's a great career, whether it's a great business, whether it's just following through on that your dream that you have, you just need to get right on track, start doing those things that you believe in, and don't accept no for an answer. You'll surely get there. Very focused <laughs> on what you do. Be very committed in what you do, and have faith in yourself, as well as the environment in which you operate. Those are the driving points that will create success for an individual. I say to you, that the only way to achieve success in our countries and for ourselves and for our children is if we're willing to take the necessary risks, to embrace the dangers, not to hesitate, and to be bold. I think that it's important for you to pay yourself a salary, and I earn a salary. I earn a good salary today, but at the time when I started the business, I knew that it was important that all the monies went back into the bank. I remember a story of, I went to a wedding and somebody was sitting across the table from me and the lady recognized my face from somewhere and I kept smiling and I didn't realize who she was. Later on she introduced herself and said, do you remember me? And I said, no. She said, well, I used to work in so and so bank at Faloma Shopping Center and I remember you always coming to the bank with your 5,000, your 3,000 and depositing this on Mondays because I would have done my bridal jobs over the weekend. The banks would have been closed on Sunday. So Mondays, I will consistently take the money to the bank. The advice that I've had for, have for them, even before they go into it at all, is to be sure that they're going to enjoy what they've chosen as a career. What you need to do is to be very, very focused as a person and be dedicated to whatever that you are doing. It is not really good for you to now go and try something, then after a month you just say, no, it doesn't work. You jump into uh, something else. else. I think you need to be very, very focused in what you are doing. Once you believe in what you are doing, you see, you should not take your either business or job as something that you must do, okay? You must take it as it's part of your hobby. If it's part of your hobby, then you do it better.